Good evening, everybody. Today we are going to learn to balance this reaction. This is potassium oxide, this is water, and this is potassium hydroxide. So, to balance this reaction, I have to draw a table so that we can easily calculate the number of atoms from both sides. So, this is reactant side and this is product side. On the reactant side, we have uh, we have two potassium and we have one plus one one plus one that is we have two oxygen and we have two hydrogen right we have two hydrogen however on the product side we have one potassium and we have one oxygen and we have one hydrogen okay so now i will look at the number of atoms from both side here potassium is two but here one so to balance the potassium i can multiply here by two that gives me two and these two will come before this potassium that is here right okay if i put here two the number of oxygen will be changed that is we are getting here two oxygen right and we are getting here two hydrogen equal to 2 right so if I calculate the number of potassium that then I am getting 2 2 I am getting 2 2 uh, hydrogen 2 2 so this reaction is balanced but now I will show you to balance this reaction by applying my common sense right so you can think to balance this reaction uh, by to balance this reaction by applying your common sense so let's get started we know that this is potassium oxide right and this is water i can write water like this right so this is potassium this is oxygen this potassium will go with potassium hydroxide right potassium one plus hydroxide minus uh, here uh, I see that the number of potassium uh, here two so I have to take two potassium if I take two potassium then my number of oxygen will be two one two and uh, the number of hydrogen is two one two so this is the balanced reaction right so you can write this reaction in your examination hall. So thank you for being this video. Be well.